So FaceTime is one of the most popular applications out there in the world. And if you're a beginner to FaceTime, I'll go and give you a quick breakdown, just a few minute tutorial on exactly how to use this particular application. Now there's a few ways you can actually FaceTime somebody. So you can FaceTime somebody through the actual FaceTime application, just like this, or you can make your way over into your contacts page, just like this. And you should be able to go and find a person that you want to. So in this case, I can just, you know, find this person and there should be a little video icon and you should be able to go ahead and FaceTime that person that way. So there's two different ways to do it. Now within the actual FaceTime application, there's a few things. At the very top left, you're going to get an edit button. By clicking this, it's going to allow you to edit up and set up your name and photo. And it's going to allow you to have a multi-select. So if you want to multi-select different you know, conversations and stuff, you can go through and delete them or whatever the case you want to. So you don't have to just delete one by one. You also have this create link button. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to create a public link within FaceTime that you can send to other people on different platforms and they can join your particular FaceTime call. So this is something that's actually very cool. It's something that's super basic and I love doing it because if people are on different operating systems, you can go and send a FaceTime link to them and they can join it. Now, also if you want to, you can go ahead and click on this particular link, which is a new FaceTime, and you can immediately FaceTime somebody if you want to. You just want to quickly get into a FaceTime call. You can click into here and you can go ahead and you know input someone's name. So if you want to go and input someone's name just like this, you can start typing in their username or whatever. You can click on their name and you can click on FaceTime or FaceTime audio and you should be able to call them that way. So if you go and click on cancel, that's that. And you will see a massive list of all the people that you basically FaceTime or can FaceTime. And basically that's it at the core. That's a very, very basic thing to kind of do. Now, if you want to you know, basically call the person you just called, you can just click on the FaceTime call right here. You can go and click on join and you should be able to go through and join you know, a specific call. Now, in this case, you can flip the camera back and forth this way at the very bottom right. At the bottom left, you'll have this basically like a iMessage portion. It looks like iMessage you know, icons but it allows you to do a lot of things, game center, add text over your FaceTime, and draw on it, so many other things across the board. So you can go and click here and kind of choose whatever you want to. Now, if you click join, this will actually join the specific call. So this is what the call will basically look like. Now within a call, you'll have this panel at the very top, but if you click on the display, it goes away. So if you want to see it, you can tap on it, or you can tap off it if you want to you know, quickly jump out of it. If you tap onto it, you can do a couple of quick things. You can click on the speaker if you want to quickly just you know, quickly jump off speaker, jump on speaker. You can go ahead and click on camera if you want to just turn off your camera or turn it back on. So you can look right here, if I click on it, the camera turns back on, but if I click off it, it basically turns it off. So it's a pretty cool thing. The mute button will basically mute yourself. So if it's on like this, you can talk, but you will be muted, or you can click off it and now you'll see the microphone is on. If you ever wanna share your screen, you can tap on the share button right here and you can share your screen or you can share your particular application within a call too. So there's a lot of different apps you can share stuff within. So that's another really cool thing clicking the X button and tapping on the call again. If you click on the I button right here, you can basically go through and see that you'll see the amount of people within a call. You can leave a call if you want to. You can click on the add people button right here if you want to, if you want to add somebody else into the call, you can click right there. Share link, if you want to share a link to this particular call, you can click right there. If you want to enable live actions, you can do that here, or live captions, I mean. You can click on there, enable that, and that will enable live captions. Then you can silence join requests if you have too many people joining or if it's a public link that became, you know, basically became you know, uh, public, you can go ahead and delete it and turn that off from here too. Clicking done. The last thing that I wanna go and kind of show you if you wanna leave a call and you can end it, just click end and then that's it. Now there's some other FaceTime settings you can modify inside of the settings application. So you can click right here to come into your settings app. And from here, you can basically scroll down until you see FaceTime. So you can keep scrolling until you see it. on iOS 18, you have to click on apps, then you click on FaceTime right here. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and modify all your FaceTime settings, your notification panel, all that stuff. You can go ahead and basically modify all your stuff, speaking, live captions, FaceTime live photos, eye contact, so many other things across the board here too. So at the core, that's basically how you go ahead and use FaceTime on your particular iPhone on iOS 18. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.